wind. Is this necessary, guys? Well, I can't believe actually I found this on Deeper. In shade, zero one, honey. Mm -hmm. Christmas shopping complete. There's two in the bed. Guys, we are a freshly tanned angel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas Day 22. I tanned late last night, so I feel like the nails look better now. I'm, I'm still about to wash it off now, but this is how it turned out. I used Isle of Paradise 30 Minute Glow and then Isle of Paradise Medium. I just mixed them. One layer and then I did two layers like on the chest and this is how it turned out. It's not the darkest but I feel like, and I did a dribble. Why, why do you only seem to dribble when you've got tan on? So I'm hoping I can like buff that out in the shower but I've also got, I've also got hair masking which I need to take out. And I've got an event tomorrow and I managed to find the outfit that I wanted on... Sorry, it's like really weird lighting. I managed to find the outfit that I wanted to wear on Depop and it only arrived this morning. I ordered it over a week ago so I'm praying to God that it fits. This is the top. It's from Mars the Label. It smells lovely, I wonder what perfume that is. Um, so I'm hoping that it fits. Once I'm out of the shower, I'm gonna try it on so that I can like rest my head, but... Oh, it feels stretchy, okay. Okay, it's not got a zip up the back. Oh, okay, thank God, I feel like I will fit in it. I was thinking that there might be a zip up the back and I was like, with the thighs and the bum, like I was like, I just don't know. Because the girl who I brought it off, it was a size eight, but she just looked tiny. Like she looked like she had abs of steel and I was like, I do not have that. So we'll try that on after. I also need to give you guys a Lululemon try on because I got some Lululemon new bits yesterday. So I need to give you a try on of that. We've honestly just got a bit of a busy day. So like I said, we've got an event tomorrow which Ollie needs to get like an, a suit for. I've been telling the boy for weeks, get a suit. Are you going to rent one? Are you going to buy a new one? Like I've just been onto him, onto him. Keeps putting off, keeps putting off. Meant to go all week. Today he's like, shit, it's tomorrow. So we've got to sort him out and out. We were also supposed to go, not ring shopping, but potentially ring shopping, not engagement ring shopping, but we'll get into that a little bit after um, today. But I don't, I don't know how much we're going to be able to fit in this um, 24 hours but I've got to go and see my nan and granddad I've got to get this tan off and wash my hair and um, I have also got to go jewelry shopping we've got to go suit shopping I've got to figure out my outfit for tomorrow and I also would love to do something festive so we've got a lot on the cards today but first on the agenda is to get showered and washed because I feel gross I feel sticky but yeah I just wanted to show you before I wash it off how the tan actually looks Um, this is the stomach so yeah Let's jump in the shower, wash the hair, and then I'll be back. I'll tell you something. Fresh tan and fresh hair days, it's an elite combination. Like, if you want to do one, do the other, because you just feel so put together. So, I just used the GHD um, Duet Styler again to just dry my hair. Honestly, this is how straight it goes. It's really good. And if you're wondering how long that took me, I did a like tiktok of the whole thing but i videoed it on my camera and it took 14 minutes and that's with putting the shine shot on and doing that and i know that these like curls at the front look absolutely fucking crazy however they're the only way that like my bangs will stay somewhat like i can't get like a proper flick with it so i'm better off doing a curl but next on the agenda if i if i had more time i would try and curl the whole thing maybe we'll try that tomorrow because i do want to curl my hair for tomorrow so i'm thinking maybe try that but i've never been able to curl my hair with straighteners i don't know if it's because like a bigger play i just find it easier i don't know but i'm just quickly going to try my outfit for tomorrow to make sure that we like it um else i'm gonna have to go into panic mode and run somewhere to buy one so let's quickly try this on okay we got it on i didn't realize i just video I just sent a video to my sister-in-law's and my tan is not that dark i think it looks darker on this camera than it does in real life i mean i'm not saying i'd want to be any darker but i think i might have to add some like just you know just like shimmer to the chest just to add a bit but here is the dress well i would so it's master label but like i said i got it off deeper it's like a corseted top um and then it's just a like maxi skirt so i'm thinking hair like fully curly like brushed out waves have it back neck like layer some necklaces big hoops like gold hoops gold jewelry um i don't know what bag i don't know what to do i've seen some girls like use my louis bag as like a clutch which might look cute like that I might do that and then just wear some Perspex heels, but I don't really have a mirror other than 
one in my mum's room. This is like more of a full length, what do we think? I think it is really cute. I mean, when you guys are watching this, I'll literally have it on and be on my way there. So hopefully you guys don't comment like, that's fucking horrible. Um, I think my hair definitely needs to be like one side forward or one side and one side back or like fully back though, just to give it its moment. But thoughts and opinions are welcome. Mars the label just were not restocking it, so I just had to find it on, Vin on Depop. But I can't believe actually I found this on Depop. But yeah, let me know what you think. Is it cute? I don't know what we are at the house. I'll show you my outfit when we get out, but I'm just honestly super comfy. And I got this yesterday from Vista. So. Let's test it. What is it? It is the Clarins Comfort. Do you foil, Oliver? In shade 01, honey. And you know what it reminds me of? Last night I thought it smelled of oranges. And I think it does, but what does that remind you of? It reminds me of something very specific. When it's on my lips more so. The ice cream factory. What, it smells? Because it's honey. Like, I think when you first smell it, it smells like oranges, but then I think the actual scent when it's on your lip is actually like honey. But just put a bit on your lip. Because it's not, it just looks wet, it doesn't have a colour. See for it. Can you smell like honey? I really like it, honestly. I think this is the best lip oil I've ever used. What about you, Claire? <laughs> Scandal. I haven't, I... I haven't used a Yugo you one for so long, but I did used to love them. So yeah, I guess I should say the second one. Um, bring back Yugo, Mia. We all want to try. But I, yeah, I really like it. It looks like wet on the lips and just smells unreal. But I think like I like just the see-through. I don't know whether I'd care for like a pink lip oil necessarily, but yeah, we've just got to the outlet anyway. I'll need to find a Sue. I need to get a secret Santa gift. Also, because we've getting my brother something for Christmas at this point, they're just going to have cash because I just, it stresses me the F out trying to think of something for both of them. So, yeah, peace. Nails, though, slay. Slay. Ollie hates when I say slay. Slay. Nail slay. It's like, I don't know. It's just silly, isn't it? It's a shit word. It's a silly, I'm a silly little girl. Right, suit is secured. I'm actually so, and don't take this the wrong way, but you know sometimes your boyfriend just picks out things and you're like, come on, but it's very windy. But no, he picked out the sickest suit. Um, we got a tie to match my dress, so it's just on friend to his brothers. But we got, we got a tie to match my dress. Um, so he's got it all, got a shirt, and I also think that he'll be able to wear it for the wedding in Australia, which is perfect. Oh my god, there's a Swarovski. No way. No. But we're just going to grab some lunch because it's like half past one and neither of us have eaten. Um, so our options are like Slims, Waggers, Five Guys. My option would always be Waggers or Slims at a push, but I don't fancy a Five Guys in the day like that makes you feel a bit ill, so. I'll tell you what we get from the Tony but we're walking towards Wagamama, so I'm going to take that as a positive sign for Jodie. Oh, also, OOTD. Here we go, this is my It's a bit windy, isn't it? Boo hoo zipper, Louis bag, another version leggings, and my ultra boots. The wind, is this necessary, guys? Wind. Okay, that is mine, chicken and blue. Yes, this is all normal. We've got a cuisine in the end, guys. It's so windy today, actually, we can't. But I've got a bowl, and a, well, I've got a chicken bowl of asparagus, and this is how it looks in it. Look at that, how yum. Also got a Christmas shopping complete I'll give you a haul when I got back when I get back but that is everything other than I need to literally get like chocolate for people you know just to bulk up some presents but that's easy enough like I can go to Sainsbury's or something but the wind is not it today <laughs> oh. 
Anyone else's boot full 24 7. Right, I've just picked stopped at home and I've got a parcel and I'm pretty sure Ollie's gonna be more for this. It's PR from a brand who do like no seed oils in their foods. It's a brand called Hunter and Gabba Foods. I'm so excited to try. got a collagen coming i looked on their instagram when they reached out and they had like no seed oil mayonnaise and things which is super cool i'd love to try it i know ollie's brother has it actually and he really likes it so i need to I should have got it in for christmas really but this is their rise and glow collagen mixed berry i would actually like to get into a collagen drink so thank you so much hunter and i think it's gather hunter and gather and um, very appreciated i really want to try it and i'd love to make like collagen or like a green do you know like just something like that like a, a nice like healthy drink part of my daily routine so definitely need to start hello angels i am home now i spent a couple hours with my nan and granddad um i'll just dropped me off he's just popped out and I thought I'd give you a haul of everything I got today. So pretty much, other than getting like literally like minuscule things, like I'm thinking, get my uncle some chocolates. I think you're on such a slant, it's wild. <laughs> get my uncle some chocolates. And you know, just like little things more like, not presents, more just like stocking fillers slash like favours. Like when I go to Ollie's mum's house on Christmas Eve, I'll just grab some little like snacks and stuff. You know, just as a peace offering. Not a peace offering, that's the wrong kind of word. That's as if like, beef um you know like just uh look what i brought i just need to do things like that so i'll probably just go to like mns or somewhere or sainsbury's and get things the tree isn't on so let's sort that out there we go gosh okay there we go that is better so this is literally like last minute inspiration if you guys maybe are super unorganized which honestly some years i've been so unorganized at this point of the year i still have not got any present so got stuff from carhartt and i also got some stuff from nike and under armor and also ollie got a gorgeous suit from moss bros and it actually for some reason was like in the sale and it was like more reduced when we got to the till so he got a gorgeous like three-piece suit with a tie i think it was like 130 or 140 pounds which is really good and especially for moss bros so that's his outfit sorted for tomorrow so you guys will see tomorrow in the vlog i'm not gonna ruin it for him um, but he got a gorgeous suit. It looked really nice. So I got this old oh, because he saw it and he liked it. And I was like, right, I was like, I'm just getting it you for Christmas. Um, I got him this in a medium and this was £39, but I think I actually got it for like 27 because the outlet normally like, has a price and when you get to the till it's cheaper. So it's this like blue. It's all a bit tangled because he tried it on, but he looked really nice in it. So I just said, right, I'll grab you that for Christmas. A dark blue just like zip up he wears these loads like even if he's not at the gym he just wears them for like chilling in the house and stuff and he looked beautiful in that so i was like right you're having that then from under armor i got this um it looks a bit bright but i feel like it's actually like with a tan it would be really nice i've got this for my secret santa recipient which is ollie's brother's boyfriend and i know he likes the gym and i left the dogs asleep and i think did was that a growl I think they're just fine. I got him in a medium. I don't know if it'll fit in, but this was £25. And I think I got it for 20 because I have like 30% off-ish the price. So, yeah, got that for him. And then I got this for my brother just because I haven't got him too much because I don't like to just buy things for the sake of it. And I was in two minds whether to give him like money to go on holiday with or to get him stuff. But I actually, like, I think I've managed to pull like presents together just like little things so i got him this like thermal this is good because he plays football and i know he likes under armor and ollie was like i feel like he'll really like it's just a long sleeve thermal under armor on the back said so that um i don't know how much that was i think they were both like 20 pound um this was 24 the other one was 20 i think so it was like 45 pound and then in carhartt i saw this t-shirt and i thought my brother would really like it he's not like super into carhartt but i think it's just a cool t-shirt and i liked the blue and like the city i feel like he'll like it to wear with jeans or like joggers so got him that in a small 
because I feel like it comes up quite oversized. And this was £31, I think, which is so good because these are such good quality t-shirts. Like, I would genuinely wear these with leggings. They feel incredible. And then lastly, I just got my little brother some black joggers, which were, I think they were £70. But I liked this because they did them in extra small. I feel like a lot of shops don't do extra small. And he's only 16, so he's not like always big enough to get in small or mediums. So extra small, I thought would be perfect. They're literally just a great joggy. So that's everything I got. Thank God I am done. Like I, I can't deal with the stress of not having everything. It really, really stresses me out. Like I'm literally up at night thinking about it, but then I will not order anything. Like I'm just the worst procrastinator. So I'm gonna wrap all those up and then I'm gonna go and put my pajamas on. Ollie's playing his Xbox and I've just knocked all that off. I hope there's nothing in there. And I am going to then do something very fun with you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, I've got an idea of what we can do tonight. Literally everyone's out. My brother's not here. Ollie's playing his Xbox. My mom and stepdad are at the pub. Let's go and sort them out. Go! PJs are on, these are just some booby ones that I got. And this is what I really wanna make. I saw these on TikTok and they just, they spoke to me, so. How cute do they look? They're like little like gingerbread, like beds, like, what do they call them? Cozy gingerbread puff pastry. So what we need is puff pastry, chalk and gingerbreads. The ones the girl made on TikTok were really small, but I've only, I know. Look what the puppy did, guys. I think they just need glue. Oh no, the other one's broke. Oh no, it's not. I think they just need glue in. The JP ones. I was just brought them from London actually for twelve pound. Oh Ripped off on the market. She, she I'll get you some tomorrow from Nottingham. That's mm, alright. I've got a few pairs. Yeah, the girl who did it on TikTok, whose video I saw, she had like small gingerbreads. These are quite big, so I might just like chop a bit of the legs off. But either way, I feel like they're gonna be so good because I feel like the chocolate's gonna melt and then we can put some like icing sugar. Hopefully I've got some icing sugar. If not, it'll be fine. And then the other thing that I've got, which I was torn between what to do, I've got some gingerbread dough and then I also brought these from B&M. But I feel like that might be quite nice to do towards like further to Christmas, maybe like Christmas Eve Eve and have them as like a little like Christmas Eve treat. So I think I'm gonna keep the like that one and just do these little gingerbread. So let's get started. Okay, right. I think I need to cut these into like little rectangles. I'm going to keep the that parchment paper to put on the pan, but I think we want them like maybe. Let's see how big a gingerbread is. And then we want it to like go up to here's like. Okay. I feel like let's cut it in the middle, and then if I have to cut the gingerbread a bit small, then I have to cut the gingerbread a bit small. Okay. This is how big our little sections are. We'll just guess the rest. I feel like I'm gonna be able to do eight. Okay, we're gonna do four squares of chocolate because I feel like that will fill up the space more. to sleep oh wait no they're not good. okay yeah now i'm gonna have to snap the legs off the gingerbread This is how they look before they go in the oven. I feel kind of, feel kind of sad on them going in, but they look so cute. I just need to egg wash them and then I'm gonna pop them in for like 10, 15 minutes, I think. Oh, I forgot about my pie. I forgot about all your pies today from last night. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. 
look. I feel like I might leave them in there for another like two minutes though. Okay, they're out and they look really cute. I just realised we don't have any icing sugar though, so I don't think I'm having another I feel like I emptied all of my I did like a big clean of all my baking stuff because I just had so much and I don't have any. I'm trying to see do I have anything like hot chocolate powder, but who cares? So we're not gonna be able to do icing sugar, but this is how they look. Hi, cute. There was two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. Here they are. This is your sign, guys. I didn't cook them for too long, so I quite like it when the pastry is like doughy, but this is your sign to make these and put them on your Christmas table. You could put little like marshmallows on or sprinkles in the chocolate. You could put icing sugar on and make them like really festive, but we need to try it. Oh, sorry, the washing machine's on as well. Yeah, the washing machine's on, so I'll keep this quick, but taste test. The crunch, the meltiness of the chocolate. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Unreal. Hello guys, it is time for our evening skincare and to just cleanse the day away. So, first step. I'm just gonna cleanse my face. I haven't got any makeup on. I've literally just got some Primark bronzing dropped on and my brows brushed up. So I'm gonna go in with the Medic 8 Micella Mousse. Such a good cleanser. Just need to pin my hair back. But those little gingerbreads have gone down. Such a treat of everyone. So I'm so happy. I feel like this is just something to make them. I think I might remake them for like Christmas Day or Boxing Day. So they were so easy. And I feel like they look like so cute. I just need to think, like I want to try to do other stuff with them, you know, in case someone doesn't like gingerbread, like maybe like a chocolate biscuit or something would be cute. I also want to do a, a tear and share Nutella for Christmas Day. Okay, first I'm going to go in with the Drunk Elephant, um, it's this like retinol serum, sorry let me just put it in focus, it's this. I used it for the first time a couple nights ago, I didn't use it last night, it's like quite a thick like oily, almost like gel like serum, but it's got 0.5 retinol in so. Skin literally looks like glass off that. <laughs> then, sorry, are you a bit dark? Then I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Skin Under Eye Cream. Oh God, I just wasted loads of that in the sink. Just grabbed a cotton pad. I think I should have used this first, but it's the Inculus Gly Glycolic Acid Toner. And this is supposed to help with the appearance of pores. I've been using the Caudalie mask like here to try and get rid of the appearance of my pores and I can like really tell a difference literally off two uses but I feel like I should have used this before my the retinol serum but oh well. Mm, should it burn? <laughs> Maybe it's just a bit strong for my skin. Then I'm just going to go in with the Bioma um, Balancing Face Mist. So direct and then finally I'm gonna go in with the Laneige water bank face moisturizer it's such a nice consistency it's like so watery then would it even be skincare without Laneige on the lid oh my god I forgot my one second I need to put my eyelash serum on eyelashes honestly update on uk lash 
I've been using it now for three months and my lashes are so thick and long. Like they've grown so much. They have thickened so much. Like it's literally in saying how thick they are and even just with like a curl my lashes look like they've had like an lvl they're so thick and long it's insane so i feel like i can fully vouch for it i feel like it took me about two weeks to start seeing like progress and it just hasn't stopped so we love that but that is the skincare done let me just show you the skin this is how it looks and it's hard to really show you my lashes but that is like as good as i can really show you the lashes like they're just so much thicker and longer than they've ever been like crazy but this is the skin feels very nice and hydrated it looks like literal glass it looks like literal glass so we love that but that is going to go ahead and conclude tonight's video guys we are just about to jump into bed i haven't really had any dinner but what i have got is some hummus and ripped crackers so i'm just going to have that in bed to be honest i'm not that hungry after having the greek so this you will be watching on friday night so we've got a video tomorrow a video on sunday which is crazy and then literally vlogmas is all over i'm gonna miss you guys so much i mean i'll, I'll be back every three times a week so it's not like i'm going anywhere but it's just gonna be so weird not we not daily vlogging like on a roll so yes i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope that you enjoyed this vlog i will leave the tiktok that i follow for the gingerbread men in bed down below and i will see you guys in a vlog tomorrow i've got a really busy day tomorrow so i want to get an early night see you guys in the morning love you so much don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you soon good night guys